Seizure disorder is another issue uh, that would be considered a high-risk pregnancy. So if you have a seizure disorder and you get pregnant, that's considered high risk. It doesn't mean you can't have a normal, healthy baby, and most people with seizure disorders have normal pregnancies. If you're on medication to control your seizures, it's a mistake to stop the medication. Depending on which medicine you are on, we'll either continue that medicine or we might change it to a safer medication. And that's something that your obstetrician will probably do in conjunction with your primary care doctor or your neurologist who's ever handling your seizures uh, primarily. Most of the seizure medicine is not perfectly safe in pregnancy, and that's one of these uh, trade-offs. So if you look at medications in pregnancy, they have different classes. There's a class A, which means it's completely safe. There's almost no class A's on the market. Class B means pretty much everyone agrees that it's safe. Class C's are still considered safe, although there may be some data that there could be some concern. But generally, we prescribe class C's without worrying about it. Class D medications are most of the seizure disorder uh, medications. Class D medications mean that we know there's potential danger to the baby from these medications. However, the benefit of the medication may be worth that risk. Class X medication means that they should not be used under any circumstance. These are like the chemotherapy drugs. So most of the seizure disorders uh, medications are class D medications, and they can cause birth defects to the baby. Um, and so that always makes people nervous. However, stopping them is very dangerous. If you have a seizure while you're pregnant, there's a 25% chance that that's going to cause a fetal loss. In other words, that's going to make you miscarry. And so the risk of that is very high. And so it's very important that we keep you from having a seizure. So don't just stop your medicine abruptly. Now, this is something that probably is going to be, you're going to see several physicians. You're going to see obstetrician. You're probably going to see a perinatologist, a high-risk pregnancy specialist to do um, detailed specialized ultrasounds. And you're going to want to see your regular doctor, either your neuro neurologist or your primary care, to monitor your seizure medications. It's very complicated, um, but uh, it can be done safely. And most of my patients, um, most patients in general that have seizure disorders and get pregnant are able to have normal, healthy babies and normal pregnancies.